purpose of this video is to demonstrate the basic steps for assembling a Valtech Valdisk II body sub-assembly. Check the disc and seat seating surfaces to make sure they are smooth and free of scoring and scratches. Caution! Damaged or dirty seating surfaces can cause excessive seat wear and high torque requirements. Damaged discs and seats should be replaced. Inspect the shaft for scratches or galled surfaces. For maximum performance, Valdisk shafts are machined to a very smooth finish. If damage exists, replace the shaft or contact a factory representative. Note, most discs and shafts are interchangeable. Some larger designs have tapered round pins and no flats, and require that the disc and shaft be machined together. Contact the factory for matched disc and shaft options. Insert new shaft bearings into the body. Place the disc into the body, making sure the flat on the disc is lined up with the body's internal disc stop. Carefully install the shaft. Install the packing spacer, packing set, and packing follower into the body. Refer to the IOM for proper packing installation based on the specific packing for your valve. Note, always use new packing whenever rebuilding the packing box. Caution. Since the sealing on V-ring packing takes place at the feather edge, it is important to avoid damage to that edge. Looking through the tapered pinholes of the disc, line up the flat surface of the shaft with the tapered pins and insert them so that the flat of the pins contacts the flat of the milled surface of the shaft. Install and drive the pins firmly into place with a hammer and a punch. The pins should be installed so that they are driven in towards the body internal disc stop. Then peen the pins in place using a center punch. Two or three peens per pin is sufficient. Install the studs. Install the gland flange and packing nuts. Tighten packing evenly, just slightly more than finger tight. Caution, do not over tighten packing. This can cause excessive packing wear and high shaft friction, which may impede shaft rotation. Refer to our video for basic packing adjustments or the packing IOM. With the beveled side facing up, press the soft seat insert into the soft seat retainer. There should be an interference between the soft seat and the retainer. Note, cooling the insert in a freezer prior to installation will allow the insert to be installed easier. Next, install the backup gasket. With the valve in the closed position, secure the retainer or metal seat in place by tightening the retainer clips and screws. Install a new seal and end plug. Firmly tighten the end plug. Refer to the appropriate IOM for specified torque values. For more information on this or other FlowServe products, see FlowServe.com or contact your local sales representative. 